Hello YouTube, uh, this is Mayan J and uh, today I'm going to show you the white version of the Goofon Wi-Fi. On my left is, is the original um, iPhone 4S white and here I had the Goofon Wi-Fi. As you can see uh, both of them are also identical. Uh, the, the bottom uh, USB uh, 30 pin connector are also white and uh, identical as well. There you see it. On the top, everything's pretty much the same. You had the power buttons, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks, uh, metal frames are the same. Everything is the same as the previous uh, Goof One Wi Fi. Now, the good thing about the um, the white one is that this time the home button is not as critical as when I got the uh, Goo Apple V5 3G. Uh, that one, the button was completely off. It was actually gray color. This one is a little a little bit different, but it's not too much. I'm happy with it. Uh, now this time I bought this from uh, AndroidSale.com. Uh, this time I got it from a different website, and they sent me the 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 real uh, Goo Phone Wi-Fi. This time I got a faster service. Uh, before I ordered my black version of the Goofon Wi-Fi from AndroidForCheap.com. This time, uh, as I said, I got it from AndroidSale.com. I will be providing the link below. Um, so let's go ahead and power both of the phones. Just so you see the similarities when you power them on. I'm also going to show you how to install the ROM and this time I'm gonna uh, make a video uh, well actually this video is gonna be uh, also about how to root it but starting from the very beginning okay we have this one is still booting up now this is the stock ROM uh, I really don't like this ROM because it doesn't have even though I can do it manually it doesn't have the uh, app market from Android this is just the uh, Chinese one as you can see um, also, YouTube is is the is, is actually Yuku. Uh, this is this is the stock ROM that comes with the phone. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, also, the weather application which is not even here. It's actually deleted because it's also in Chinese. Um, so here we have the iPhone 4S. And to show you that, I'm gonna uh, let me just end my voicemail. Uh, let's put it on Siri. What's the weather like today? Not so nice to there we go you heard her um, so this is the original iPhone 4s now uh, I, I'm not gonna do a comparison because I already did it with the black Google phone Wi-Fi so let's go ahead and um, go with the procedures you're gonna need uh, in order to root the phone uh, first you have to go to the website on the link that I'm gonna provide below the website is gonna look something like this there we go you must download um, these three files. It's called um, the first one is Goofon Wi-Fi root .zip. Uh, Then you're gonna download uh, the M44 toolbox.apk and the recovery image. You're gonna download those three files on your PC. So once you uh, download them, you're gonna locate wherever they downloaded to. In my case, I already have the folder open. They're right here. As you can see, we have the M44 toolbox, we have the recovery image, and the Goofon Wi Fi root. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is you're gonna connect your Goofon Wi Fi to your computer. Um, so now we're gonna uh, go ahead and turn on USB storage. Okay, so now once you see uh, Okay, so, so now once you have connected the phone to your computer, uh, you're going to see, you're going to open the computer uh, icon by going to start, and you're going to press computer. Once you see that, you're going to see now here two removable disks. One is going to be uh, H, and the other one is going to be G. You have to select the one, it could be uh, renamed different on your computer, but you're going to select the one that has the lower uh, uh, memory, which is the 2.39 gigabytes in my case. Uh, this is the internal memory of the phone, and you're gonna make sure you transfer all your um, all your files to that um, uh, to that removable uh, disk. So what we're gonna do is uh, after I downloaded the files, I placed them here in this folder. So we're gonna 
uh, send to we're gonna click send to and then we're gonna send it to the the G1 okay this is my smaller uh, SD card storage which is actually the internal one okay then we're gonna also send the info for two box that APK we're gonna select send to and we're gonna select G and last but not least the recovery Okay, so now we're going to select send to and G. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to go back to computer. We're going to verify that this is correct. Let's go to the G. We're going to scroll down. You got to verify that everything's there. So there we see it. We see the glue phone Wi Fi root.zip, the m442box.apk, and the recovery image. Okay. So now we're going to close this up. Okay. Now we're going to go back to your phone and we're going to hit turn off USB storage. There we go. Now we're going to disconnect the phone from your computer. Once you do that, now you're going to power off the phone. Okay, it's powering off. All right. Now, once you power off your phone, you're gonna press and hold the minus key and the power button at the same time until your phone will vibrate once. You let it go. There we go. Mine just did it, and it's, the bottom is gonna say recovery. Now, in order to see the menu, you're just gonna press the plus button, and there we have it. Let me try to focus this now. Okay, as you can see, there we see update from SD card, wipe data from uh, wipe data reset, and so on. We're gonna go to the second one, which says apply update from SD card. This is gonna be to root. Now, as you see, right on top, uh, it's gonna say uh, Google Phone Wi Fi root.zip. Let me try to focus this a little better. All right, and that's the one we're gonna choose. So we're gonna hit minus once again this is to scroll up and down so we're gonna go um, uh, down once and we're gonna press the power the power key there we go Let me try to focus this a little better now it says install from SD card complete okay so now uh, what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna uh, it's gonna prompt you to reboot now you're gonna reboot now and your phone should be rooted by now okay now there's two other files that you need uh, to use. As you remember, we put three of them. This is just for the routing. You're already done with the root, so your phone now is, uh, has access to, to root permissions. Okay, try to focus this a little better. Okay, so now we're going to slide to unlock. Now uh, we're going to go to, I have installed it already, but we're going to go to File Manager in your case and let's go back you're gonna scroll down and then we're gonna see uh, right here you're gonna see the m 44 toolbox that APK so we're gonna hit that in my case I have already uh, installed it but in your case you're gonna hit install uh, once it's installed you're gonna go back here to the application you're gonna hit allow And now this is just uh, uh, to, to flash the recovery image, which is the third file we uh, uh, downloaded to our SD card. So you're going to hit recovery update. Okay, and then we're going to select uh, recovery image, the very top. So then we're going to use, it's going to ask you to use that recovery image. You're going to hit OK. There we go. And now your phone uh, is going to reboot until the recovery image you just flashed and here we go I know it's in Chinese uh, but it's, it's quite easy still to understand as you can see update.zip uh, clear catchy and so on uh, so this is uh, so now you're able to uh, install uh, any ROM you like uh, the first option of course is going to be reboot so now uh, you have successfully rooted and installed the recovery image on your phone. So now you're uh, capable of installing any ROM. 
uh, which that's going to be my next video on how to install the latest ROM version 2 of uh, White Tiger DK. Uh, he's an XDA uh, member. Uh, he developed this, uh, well, actually, he modified this ROM and it really works well. It has uh, most of the applications are in English now. Uh, so that's the next thing I'm going to show you is how to install the that rum so thanks for watching please let me know if you have any questions subscribe and leave comments below have a good one